Hi, I am Danny Adams. Phil Farmer was my uncle, my inspiration, and my co-author twice over. When I was asked to do this video for the first time, I initially thought it would just be obvious to talk about his influence on my writing, considering that he was the one who got me interested in writing in the first place when I was 12 years old. But then as I was thinking about it longer, I realized that there's a deeper legacy that he left with me even than writing, which I decided I wanted to talk about instead. When I was in my mid-teens, I asked his advice about writing, writing science fiction, and he said that I should be reading biology, anthropology, and classical poetry. Biology so I could construct my worlds, anthropology to construct my societies, and classical poetry so I could have a better vocabulary and a better way of expressing those societies and those worlds. And I looked a little askance at that advice at first because I wasn't really interested in biology or anthropology at all, but I also, aside from the fact that he was a great science fiction writer already, knew that he was a walking encyclopedia. If you wanted to talk with him about anything, he could talk with you about it. He could talk about it in as much detail as you wanted or as simply as you wanted. He could talk for five minutes. He could talk for hours. And having read his books, you would know that he included a lot of this in his books because he was just that well read and he read everything pretty much. So I took his advice and as I was reading biology and anthropology, some of it was over my head at the age of 15, but for the most part, I actually got really interested in it. And this led to reading other things that I thought I might not be interested in, which led to other things I thought I might not be interested in. And I found out when I started reading these things that all I had to do was find one thing or two things that interested me in the subject that I was, write, or that I was reading about, and suddenly it became a lot more interesting. And there's always something new to find, always something new to discover. And I think that was the way he led his life, too that he always thought there was a whole universe out there, so there's always going to be something to keep you interested, that you would, as long as you're interested, you would never be bored. For the rest of my life since then, and I imagine for the rest of my life from this point on, that I will probably never be bored because there's always something new to discover out there, and I'm interested in almost everything, and still constantly learning, and that is thanks to him. So, I just wanted to say thank you, Uncle Phil. Thank you to all of you who our Uncle Phil's fans, and thank you for not just the writing, but also the rest of the universe that you gave me.